Hey, Chef Muggy friends, it's Sonia and Matt coming live tonight. It's day 14 of 20. Can you believe it? I want to know who's been on here with us. Who are the loyal people that day after day after day, even maybe if you caught it on replay, but who's been watching us for the last 14 days? We're doing a 20 day milk paint challenge. You guys know that we just introduced our brand spanking new milkshake milk paint made by Junk Monkey Company. Ships all over this beautiful country and into Canada as well. Okay, so. We have been painting on 20 different surfaces with like 20 different colors, really honestly making all kinds of custom colors as well, right? Just mm -hmm. experimenting and really letting you guys see the difference between the awesomeness of milk paint versus a chalky style paint, right? We have two lines of paint and you guys keep asking us, what's the difference? So this is the 20 days that we get to spend together, hang out, have some fun, chit chat, and do some paint projects, okay? So tonight I will tell you, this is the version of our paint challenge where it is called my Junkin Travels, okay? This is the episode Junkin Travels. I have been junkin today. I found big, big pieces of furniture and in the furniture section, I found, I kind of started with this. I have, I have a version of that. You have a version of this? No. Is it your sword? Not the Junkin Travels. What? The Junkin Travels. Oh, too funny. Yeah, this is the Junkin Travels. All, okay. right? All right? So I'm like, you know what? Instead of like hauling the big old piece of furniture home tonight, I should totally grab this candlestick. And, uh, you know, I figure it kind of doubles as a weapon as well. So, I mean, a woman can't go wrong, right? You know what I'm saying? No, I probably scared Matt half to death. But this is metal, so I thought we haven't painted anything with milk paint on metal tonight. So let's do some projects that I found. And Matt doesn't even know it yet, but I have got um, I've got a special guest for him tonight. Are you worried? There's actually two, okay? And he's looking at me right now. He's giving me laser beams for eyeballs. Like that wasn't in the script. There is no script. This is unscripted. This is Sonia and Matt After Dark of Junk Monkey Paint Company, where we love to make things beautiful on a budget and do it through the power of paint, right? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And Matt, tell me who's with us tonight as we get ready to have our go around here. Lots of people. Lots of people! Lots of people. Lots of people. So, Barb Slade popped on first. She said hello. Christy Fox. Barb! Barb! Barb hey. is on. Barbara McNamara is on. Something with her today. Yes, yes right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Julie. Uh, Cindy Callahan White, Joan Sutton, Dan uh, Wilcox from Washington State, Andy Negret says, hey, Karen says, happy Friday Eve, I have no idea what that is Friday anymore. Eve, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 it's Friday Eve, man. No, I don't know. Come on now. I never see anything. This is, by the way, the color I'm pouring out right now, this is my fourth scoop, my fourth uh, tablespoon. I'm using what's left of my milk paint remnants right here that I keep in my stash. This is our thick cream, right? This is like the off-white, okay? Yep. So four of those, just roughly. So nobody's on there. Uh, Julie's on here. Amelia says, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Uh, Diane Stein, Amarillo, Acevedo Lopez, who's been with us the whole entire time from Florida. Checking in. Dixie Johnson says, hello. House is in, in the house. Is from, uh, is in from VA. You know, I just wait every night to be able to say that. I just want I you to know. House. Well, I, I like can't saying help that. It. I like saying that because, you know, me, fast, journey. Yeah. Right, so, right, right, so, right, 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 right. So, anyway. Uh, Laura's checking in from Indiana. Carol Burns checking in from Tars, PA, close by. Uh, Karen Miller's checking in from Columbus. I'm, I'm ignoring Caitlin. Uh, Patty Price is from Michigan. Elaine Goodman says hello, Sonny Matt. Bessie Brooks says hi, Matt and Sonny. Hey! Tim Earl Folsom says Sonny Matt. Uh, Tim Ridgewell still says hey, guys. Katie Reed says hey, girl, hey. Hey! Jerry Schaefer, hey, girl, hi. Hey, girl, hey, gotcha. Uh, hello, Matt and Sonia, and I must, uh, must go dance. Hey, girl. Oh, hello, it's Anna Banana. Show. Yeah, Deborah D Diane Horton. Absolutely. Jan from San Diego, Texas. Uh, Joanne Sutton, yes, Ooh, painting nice. on metal. Uh, Angie Glosson, hello, Sonia Matt yep. from Dallas, Georgia. Angie girl, she's in Not my Not Dallas, coaching. Texas, Dallas, Georgia. Kelly Ansel, she's popping in. Stephanie Price, Laura, Laura Morgan. Um, yes, I'm still ignoring you, Kate. Michelle Diaz says, hey, from uh, Ooh, nice Colorado. And creamy. Uh, Christine Black Camacho is yep. checking in from Arizona. Uh, Lynn uh, Cacio Ophi. Cacio Ophi? Catch a tiger by the tail? Uh, I want to say Catch Tori. So Catch Tori? I haven't no. had chicken Catch Tori. Lynn so Viscovi. I'm messing with Cacio you now. Ophi. That's what Just don't call her late for supper, okay? Okay. All right. Michelle Diaz, check it in. <laughs> uh, so All I'm excited right. to see oh, you like paint something that. Else. I like that. Carlos says, I might hey, hey, Debbie, just a little bit. I could. Virginia. I think I will. 
Sharice is checking in from Wyoming. Gabrielle Dominguez from San, An San Antonio, Texas. Seth Powell's Helm says, how do y'all, how do you know I need to paint on metal? Yay. Yay. <laughs> Norma, we have an experiment tonight. Norma um, Zavar is checking in from San Antonio. Andrea Dixon says hello from Iowa. Lori Gr uh, Gruing is shared from Oklahoma. April is checking in from Mechanicsburg, PA. Yep. Home of Poison. Oh, oh I was say, isn't that, who, who, oh. Poison. Poison, yeah, but Brett who's the singer? Michael. Brett Michaels, thank you very yes. much. There you go, Karen Miller. Uh, Linda. Anybody ever try his Snapple yeah. version? I did. By the way, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So, I love me some Snapple. Yeah. I had me some uh, Snapple Lena today. Thomas, our newbie from New York, is back Yay. for a uh, I'm gonna put a little from Delaware, Ohio. Let's break at the bond, the James Bond, okay, uh, aka we, the can we extra bond. Get away from All that. right, it's terrible. No, I can't if I didn't it. catch up with anybody else, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. All right. So, but Carrie's checking in from Alberta, Canada. I wish I could. Alberta get in the here. house. You can't grow. You can get not our chalk paint, but you can get our milk paint. Yep, that's yep. what we're making it's tonight. If so you like it, absolutely. Since Wednesday nights. Is date night. I missed the beginning of last night. Girl, what we gonna what do color with you? was that? It was a custom color. Which one was it last night? Yeah. That was the... Uh... Oh, what did we use? We used Irish eyes and white. Yep. Yep. So this is a really pretty... Mm -hmm. Look at that. How good is this? Oh, gosh. I love it. All right. Let's go ahead and drop our spatula. Spatulas are also available on my website. They're two bucks, okay? Uh -huh. All right. So remember with the milk paint, you can make as much as you want. I went ahead and I put four, I just kind of do roundabouts, right, to get to the consistency that you like. So I just did uh, four tablespoons and then four tablespoons of water, and then I added a little bit more of the paint powder because I wanted to thicken it up a little bit because I'm working on metal, remember, right? It's not wood, so I wanted it to be a little bit more thicker. This is fun because you could go super, super thin with this and make a stain if you're doing things like, you know, painting raw wood. So if you really, really want to see the wood pour, the cool thing is that, you know, with paint, it generally covers wood pours, right? Unless you really, really, really water it down did and mess with call, it. Did you call the whisk a spatula? I think I did. Because people are saying, you mean whisk? Yes, whisk. Listen, you, you were supposed to, like, help me out here. Come on, like, you, you were, I thought we were friends. All right, so, um, you gotta hold me accountable they did. here. They did. I know. Friends do that, right? Friends tell you when you had toilet paper stuck to your shoe. They tell you. They Somebody let you know. Somebody said they got a headband like yours at Walgreens today. They're happy. Oh, no! Yay! Well, tell everybody so we can all get them there. Um, so anyway, what I did was I added one more spoon of the paint powder to thicken it up, right? So what I was saying is that with the milk paint, the cool thing is because it's in powder form, you just add water as you go. Remember, if you're just trying to do a stain, just really keep adding water and it will really, really like wash with the milk paint powder. The pigments are really, really like just vivid. They're awesome. And if you add just, uh, you know, the water to it, you could do some really nice um, projects with that too. You started right. the movement. What's April the movement? said she bought her first headband today, too. She told. From Wally World. Oh, there you go. We're just, we're just, oh, it's Linda Linda. As Ian Shirley would say, we're bosom buddies, right? There you go. Uh, Listen, anybody else watching the new uh, Anna Green Gables? I, I started to put that on the other night. What? Anna Green Gables, it's a thing, man. I know it's a thing. Yeah. I had to read Canada, it in like, I, I, to like, I had to know, read it in like fourth grade. Oh, I remember watching Anna Green Gables. My mother would be like, go to bed. It's time to go to bed. You got school in the morning. I did not want to, I didn't want to miss any of my Anna Green Gables. We never watched it. We never watched it. We just read it. You read it? Yeah. Uh, well, you know what, babe? We could totally watch it together. No. You could totally watch it I remember that together. was the first like book. I'll wait till you're asleep. Book report that I never actually did. Really? They said, you would you never do, do that. I say Anna, and she lives in a house of Green Gables. <laughs> what? That's what I said. And she lives in a house of Green Gables. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. So, okay, seven ninety nine. I got this for Needless to say, I got, I got it. You didn't I do need, so well on no, that one, right? No, no, no. Mm -mm. no. Then I discovered Cliff Notes. <laughs> Can you imagine now with Google? All right. Okay, how tempting it would be. Okay. All right, so this is our first paint on metal. Yeah, it is, right? So I added a little bit of the bond to it, right? Remember, I don't always get like carried away in an OCD with it. I want to see what happens, but I do a little glug, 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 which is about the equivalent of what you should be doing if you want to do it right with the bond is, um, so if you have, for example, like the ratio would be, uh, let's see, two to one, okay? So if you have two parts of your, your paint, you'd add one part of your extra bond, okay, to, to bring it up to full force. Yeah. So I just add a little bit into it. Was I it want the, it to be a little bit thick, too. Sorry. Yep. Was it the Netflix series? What's that? Yes. Yeah, Anybody see okay. it yet? Yeah, is it good? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Is it the one on Netflix? Yes. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just use my shabby chip brush because one of my favorite tricks to achieve the distressed look is to grab a shabby chip brush and just do a little bit of dry brushing, right? So you guys know I love, love, love my... What's wrong now? What's that look for? Yeah. What? What? Tell me. It was a chip. 
dude, you're like, I'm like, what the heck? You're giving me looks. Okay, calm down. Just wait. We'll get there. I promise. All no, right. Joanne said they filmed part of the scene on her property in Toronto. No way, man. We got awesome friends. Yes. Awesome friends. Okay. That is, that's pretty cool. Like, I think that should be one of the things that you tell people, you know, Road to Avonlea. what's the, so let's, let's do a thing here. Cause I know like it was so, I was so amazed the other night when we did the, um, tell us what you do for an occupation. Let's do a, what is the coolest thing that happened to you? Like, you know, something like that. Like, you know, did you get to meet somebody? Did you get to go somewhere? Um, something that kind of stands out in your life that you could say, Oh my gosh. You would never believe what I did. Yeah, Jason Momoa is just in Newfoundland. Wow, it's been a while now. I filmed part of Justice League up there. Cool. As Aquaman. Oh, yeah. Where else are you going to go to film Aquaman? Okay, go to Newfoundland. Or, yep. or you go to the Bahamas. Yeah, oh, that would be cool yeah, too, right? If you're Aquaman, why do you live in cold water? Anybody ever swim with the pigs in the Bahamas? So, I keep seeing this, yes. and I, I think I might want to try it. Okay, and that was a weird topic, but let's just be honest here. Maybe one of the things that you did was get to swim with the pigs. So when I use my shabby chip brush, the cool thing is, because the bristles are hard, right? It It's not like the other brush that we've been talking about that you've been seeing me paint with. This one is my favorite one when I want to do a shabby distress. Now this down here has got lots of parts to it, and I'm not trying to like cover it fully. I'm just trying to like dab it on. This is what's called dry brushing, but my favorite brush to do it with is definitely the shabby chip oh brush, okay? Oh my gosh. What? We got some good ones. Oh, oh, it's gonna we be got good. Some good. It's ones. gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna paint. You guys tell us stories. All right. Okay. I'll, all right. All right. All right. Caitlin, I'm ready. I'm still ignoring you. I'm ready. <laughs> um, Vicky got to walk on a movie set with Donna Mills. Patty Price got to stand on second base of Fenway Park. Um, Deb says hello from Broken Bow, Nebraska. Paula yeah. Eastman says she was a juror for the Hulk Hogan trial. No. That had to be like. Listen, people. That had to be like the, I mean, as sordid and lurid of a trial that you could ever have. So I can only imagine the stories you have. Uh, can I tell her something real fast? Nicole just Curtis. A, just a fun fact about me. Yeah. Okay, you guys know I told you the other night that I just became a U.S. citizen, right? I'm a Canadian, living abroad. I make now the U.S. my home. I did the naturalization test, and now I am a U.S. citizen, right? And I got to tell you, I am waiting, so waiting, so hard to be called to be a juror, okay? So if you can hook me up, like, I want to do jury duty so bad. You have you no idea, right? My place, yeah. Oh, I've been waiting. Like, Matt, he keeps getting called. Now, of course, me. That's one of the things you have to do once you become a citizen. So I will wait for my day. And when it happens, I will tell you. Well, not really tell you all about it because that would not be a good thing. But Karen said Nicole Curtis brought, bought three items from her at an antique show. No way! Yeah. Oh my gosh. Julie got had front row tickets some, uh, to Garth Brooks in 1992 when he was the biggest thing in the world. Virginia bicycle from Pittsburgh, D.C., 335. Wow. Um, That's pretty amazing. Rose Ranweiler swam, floated in the dead, I guess, the Dead Sea. Oh, yeah. And I got to do that. that. That's right? pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Um, Tony Pickett interned on the island of uh, Meritus in the Indian Ocean. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. It depends on how you spell uh, pronounce it. I heard Mariritis. Mariritis is what I grew up with. Um, uh, to, to Joanne said, said, yep, they just finished filming. We have a farm looking property with a large barn. It's really cool. Oh, wow. Cool, cool, cool. Um, do you know that the school scene from um, A Christmas Story was filmed in St. Catharines, Ontario? Was, yeah. yeah. Because there was no snow in Cleveland that year. Yeah, we went to go to uh, Cleveland and got to visit. Some of you guys might remember, and we felt thought that was so cool. They had part of, the, I think they had part of the blackboard there, yeah. wasn't it, uh, from St. Catharines? So they all went to boot camp graduation at San Diego. See, I was I was a swamp kid, uh, Paris Island. Um, yeah, Paul Eastman said it was sorted. Yeah, it was pretty. Just the highlights I saw. Uh, Christine McMillan, American Must Wanted filmed on my road before I moved. No, <laughs> America's before she moved. See, I like your, how she see said your that, nan's right? on there. Your nan's on there, and she's a huge like cops fan. Yeah, cops yeah, fan. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So there you go. So you anyway. got it. But I like how she said that. That's what it was before she moved. <laughs> Julia said she went to church with Jimmy Carter in Plains. So um, Robin Ronnie said I got to touch Keith Urban <laughs> at this concert. That just sounded. Kind of creepy there, Robin. Um, Susan, in a non-stalker kind of way. Susan Treadway uh, said she met Burt Reynolds at a party in West Palm Beach cool. years ago. Actually, 
I, yeah, I, your dad I, also has well, a I knew, with him. Yeah, I knew Burt Reynolds pretty well years ago, too, right? So, Patty Price said, I'm on jury duty list uh, for three months right now. Patty. So, don't even I'll go there. I'll live through you right now, okay? I want to be on jury duty. All right, mm. there we go. Don and Beauchamp said, I got interviewed for a dead wife they found after four weeks on the kitchen floor right across the street. No. Stop that. <laughs> Way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Guys, what do you think? Yeah. I just went ahead, put some extra bond in our milk paint. It sticks right on. Yeah. And um, I love it. Well, this will make you je jealous. Jennifer knows where you said her father-in-law was a only a U.S. citizen for a few weeks yep. before he got called to jury duty. Really? Yeah. Huh, I what Carol saw a uh, air show off an aircraft carrier. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. My All husband right. keeps getting called, and I want to go to jury duty. So. Yeah, right? Yeah. I just want to see what goes on. You know, you see it in the movies and you just kind of want to see it for yourself, right? Surely I can't be the only one. Barb Slade met Rod Stewart and his wife, uh, Linda, and Chuck Johns. Oh, that would be so cool. 32 I years ago. I do like Rod Stewart, yep. He was in I Kitty started Village. playing guitar and that was, his music was some of the first songs that I learned um, to play. Well, what do you guys well. think? Yeah? You like? You like? I think so here's a blast cool. from the past. Give me some hearts if you like it. You probably won't get this Put unless you're a Christian music right fan, but Andrea got to meet the Newsboys in Ooh, uh, look at that. Waterloo, Iowa. The what boys? Newsboys. They were a band. The Newsboys. Yeah, they were a big, 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 big band back in the late 80s, early 90s. All right, this is like, what would you call this? This is like metal, some fake metal, right? Yeah. Of some sort. This is $3.99. You know, I talk to some people and they send me pictures that the places that they go is like ridiculously expensive at their thrift stores. I hope yours come around to it, but I found a really good one locally that I'd love to go to. Three ninety nine, right? So this is my like my junk and travel stuff. So I'm going to paint this as well. I think this would be really, really cool in the same color. Yep. Dana said lead singer the foreigner sat in my lap at, at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. He just passed away here recently, a couple years ago. So, anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Janet won front row singing? seats to uh, Toby Keith Thorne. I bet you cool. he's singing, I want to know what love is. I want to know what yeah. love is. So, um, let me see. You. Was on a movie set at Warner Brothers and Charlton Heston, Char uh, Charlton Heston walked in in a hospital gown on, in one of the scenes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, well, welcome Joanne Singleton. Hello, Joanne. First time. My sister is in The Walking Dead. That's cool. That's cool, right? Yep. Yeah. So, I was saying, I think tonight I'm going to make some coral paint and like coral. Coral. Coral in the yeah. house. Oh, don't even do that. I know. Yeah, you can use both kinds of paint uh, to paint on cement. Uh, the chalk paint's going to be a little more durable. Definitely. Uh, Sherry got to go on, uh, sing on stage with Johnny Cash, which is awesome. Oh, wow. Went on stage with Tim McGraw. Laura did. Um, Robin said it was, it was innocent, unfortunately, for him sitting in her lap. <laughs> He fell in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, I don't know how Faith Hill would feel if that was Patrice, if that was uh, Tim McGraw, though, right? Yeah. She'd be giving you a Patrice in my says box. she bought Jump Monkey paint before it was cool. Trying Aww. to talk to us. We go way back, <laughs> right? Guys, yeah. here you go. What do you think of this, right? I'm just giving a little bit of dry brush. So shabby chip brush, if you have some existing decor that you just kind of want to give some new love to, mm -hmm. pick whatever color you want, right? And you can keep painting over mm -hmm. it. The last layer will stick to the last one. I'm um, blessed. The next paint layer will stick to the last layer you put on it, which is really cool. But I love it when I find dark colored objects because when I do that kind of brush pull over it, what happens is the brush just kind of catches on the peaks and everything and the darkness lays into the inset, right? Which is what you want when you're trying to imitate old things because dust settles in the crevices. But these really cool, like these tin pots that I have here or metal pots, I'm thinking I'll put them around, what? What? Well, let me finish this. I'm thinking I'll put them around the shop. Hold that, because that's probably a good one. It is. A um, good one. I'm gonna put these around the shop, and uh, you know, I could do stuff like you know, put my brushes into them, and all the different whisk that I have, and all the good stuff, right? The brush cleaners and everything else. Because if you're gonna display stuff, right? You know, I need to have some repurposed items to do that in. Mm. I'm gonna actually maybe do this one in the same color. We got some good ones. Jeanette Patton said she got to go behind the stage with CC Talk and ended up in Texas. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's um She's got stories. I've been on the road. I know it. I She's know got it. stories. Um, so uh, But she probably don't tell of her secrets. Yeah. She doesn't kiss and tell, right? Nina back in the late sixties said she experienced a UFO in Germany. That's cool. No. Uh, way. What did you do to prep the metal before painting? I didn't do anything. 
A lot of people have experience with Dog the Bounty Hunter on here. Really? Oh, oh I used to love to watch Dog the Bounty Hunter. I did. So Roxanne did. Hard Assembler used to be a DJ on Rock 103 and got to sing with Eddie Money. No Toss way! Travis Strip one of it. Oh his my guitars. gosh. How cool is that? I was a DJ on Rock 105.9. You did? Yep. yep. You're in the Marine Corps. Jacksonville, North Carolina. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take this tag off. That's cool that she got to do that. Okay. three ninety nine. dollars I paid for this, by the way, guys. And I didn't do anything to prep it, but all I did was add some extra bond to my paint just to ensure, because remember, milk paint is unpredictable, right? It chips. It's the only paint that chips. Yes, we Chalky actually paint doesn't do that, yeah. right? So because I didn't necessarily want any chipping, I wanted to, you know, test in and seeing how durable it would be once I added the bond. And it's there's nothing falling off of it. It looks awesome, right? This is this is one for you. You like? What's that? She said. Joanne said her you know, her barn was used in uh, Angry and Gibble. She said yeah. this season, the season's opening of uh, Shit's Creek uh, was filmed at their golf course. Eugene. Oh my goodness! Yeah, she got to meet Eugene Levy. That's cool. So, uh, I like that show Linda too. Linda Bowery said Madonna filmed one of her one. Uh, Don't tell me Linda has a connection to Madonna. Yeah. No. Behind our no. house and our trees are in the, in the uh, movie. No way. Listen, guys, <laughs> when we went to Cleveland um, there about two months ago, we went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and there's one of Madonna's letters that are framed. She yeah. actually came over. Where's she to now? Is it Britain? I'm trying to remember where yeah. she is. Where does she live over there? Somewhere over there, right? Yeah. Um, somebody on here knows where Madonna lives. Um, well, but she's anyway. In, she's all over. Yeah, but she actually came to, she went to school in Canada. I think it was, and then she came to the U.S., but she was writing, friend, writing letters to her friend in Canada, and she was saying about how she probably, she was going to try to go to New York, but she would probably amount to nothing more than a pile of doo-doo, mm -hmm. and it was so funny, because it's her, you know, a letter when she was about, what, well, maybe, teen, well, just 16, college, 17, no, was she, she, was, was she, no, she college? was out of school, yeah, she was here going to school, right, yeah. so maybe it was college, yeah, and so she was saying how that she didn't know if she was going to mount to anything, but it was worth a shot and all this sort of stuff. And I thought, dang, you know what? If that's not proof that, you know, we all start somewhere. Even Madonna Sally, had to start Sally somewhere. Sally Van Nuys is in the house. Uh, Tenille, Hello. Uh, Jennifer says um, her father-in-law got uh, jury duty is also from Corner Brook. We lived in Corner Brook for quite a few years. Yes, we did. Yes. Corner Brook, Newfoundland. Okay, you let's come over. Uh, let's add a little bit of difference. It's something, something to it, all right? Would you seal those? I wouldn't because it's only decor. It's not going to fall off, but if you ever felt like you needed to seal something, like say, for example, that was metal that you wanted to put outside, I would then put some poly over it, okay? Mm. Poly is stronger than wax. Wax is great for decorative pieces, but you're going to need some poly for extra protection in the elements, right? Because when it's outside, the rain hits it, the temperature hits it, it contracts, it expands, and so that's why I would use a definitely a stronger sealer. So here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm not going, I'm going to switch up for a different color. Okay. I'm going to use my thick cream that I have here. But I think I'm gonna bring out some coral. 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 So coral. Let me keep going down these. These are good. This is our salmon, okay? Yeah. Yep. I'm just Carol Burns got to, to meet Big Ben and had a uh, picture taken with him. Nice. Uh, Kelly said when she worked at Seven Springs front desk, she met Poison, Cindy Lauper, Katie Lang, and David Cassidy. No, what a bunch to meet all at once! <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah. Madonna has Let's a house get. in Portugal. Portugal. So, Yvette Como is checking in from Canada. Hello, Yvette. Uh, nice to have you. So, so I'm just kind of winging it here, guys, to see what I'm going to get. Messy, messy, messy. I know. Messy, I'm, messy. It's like it's like when you're cooking with, um, oh, I forgot to add some extra water. Yeah, you need to add it's like It's more. like you're cooking in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Let me see. I just went ahead and added some of the, um, I put two teaspoons of the, um, or tablespoons of the salmon color in so, here. So Anne is from Waterloo, Iowa, and she painted... She partied with the great Canadian band April Wine in Italy. Oh, I loved April Wine. Now, there's a band that I might have to listen to on my way home from work. Yeah, Patty Price. Madonna is originally from Detroit. You're right about that. So, uh, so if not doing 20 days of milk paint, would you be using chalk paint on those things? Yeah, either or. It just depends on what yeah. you want to use, right? Mm. So, the cool thing about the milk paint is it's completely all natural. You can mix up as much as you want. It lasts indefinitely. Um, and you know, it's really easy to blend the colors because they're all powder pigments. Okay. So right now I'm just adding to the color base that I already had of that thick cream because I don't want to throw it out because I'm a, I'm a definitely a reuser. Look how the pretty is. So I put salmon in with thick cream. What color would you call this? Pinky salmon. Pinky salmon. <laughs> <laughs> So right. Sally says, you actually pronounced my name correctly. That's because I was in Van Nuys, California a few times. So there you go. There you go. So. 
All right, let me get a, a brush that's not like soaking wet. All right, another shabby chip brush. I use these over and over again. Just do a tug on the end because, right, they're brushes that tend that if this silver piece is not locked on good when they manufacture it, you get hairs that come out. So just do a nice little tug on the end, and that way anything that's like looking like it's going to work loose, you get it before you actually paint your piece, right? I got a couple more, and then I'm going to be done with this. Okay. So Jennifer knows where he also said her husband and I got tickets to the last tragically hit concert. Oh, the day of the concert, oh, know, a few days Gordon later. Downey, I went for ice cream, and the drummer held the door for me. You know, my yeah, favorite poor song, Gord, yeah. Tragically Hip, yeah. is New Orleans. Yeah. New Orleans is sinking. I like the darkest okay. one. So, 99 cents. Don't, okay. What is um, it? A platter? Square tray. It's a tray. That's what so, it says. Judy said she was standing on a sidewalk yeah. in Scottville, Michigan, and Sweaty Teddy Nugent stopped at the red light and was <laughs> flushed you. I said Sweaty Teddy because I grew up listening to Nugent. So I've heard you say know. that before, yeah. So, so uh, Sam, I love watching your videos. I can't ever watch the whole thing because of limits on our Wi Fi. Oh, gotcha. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No man. worries. Just like chapter two. Sally Van Nuys tomorrow. says, My great 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 grandfather founded the Van Nuys Valley. Well, there you go. <laughs> Well, I got to be there and seeing everything that he established. Where do you get the jars that you mix paint? That was, uh, they were all packaging jars yeah. that we had, yeah. So yeah. if you remember, those of you who followed us, our jar, our paint actually started, who can remember, in mason jars. That was when we sold it locally, mm -hmm. just kind of in the back of our shop for anybody who wanted to try the paint that, um, that we would make. And that's what everything I did to paint my pieces with. But we're going back to mason jars. And mm -hmm. then... We switched it up to a plastic container, which is the ones that you saw me use as we started to ship all over the country and people started to find out about our paint and fall in love with it. And then most recently in the last, what, six months, I would say, five, six months, we have switched up to an actual paint container, right? Because again, it's just another layer of durability. So mm -hmm. we ship a lot and we want to make sure the paint gets to you. We're not happy if it gets broken. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the upgrade. But now I just make use of all the old stuff. But I tell you, if you can get some mason jars, those are perfect. And when you're done painting, um, just go ahead for the night. Rinse out your mason jar and use it over and over again. Look at this pretty color. Dan, so, go ahead. No, yep. Dana Johnson said her grandfather was cousins with Thomas Edison. No way. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Sonia's got secrets, too. Oh, what's that? Are you going to tell my secrets? Yeah. Hey, come up here. I want to show you guys something. So this like is what I'm talking about. Reflected. This is for real. This is good stuff right here. <laughs> this is the last piece of my brown. So I've got to say this for somebody who, who is like, how do you get that distressed look? Do you see that down there? Yeah. You can fake it when you use a shabby chip brush, right? So what happens is you just take it and you glide it over. And do you see that what's left behind it? And then fill in as much as you want, okay? Up over the edges. But obviously paint chips and uh, over time. And that's how you get that worn sort of look. I love, love, love. The, just the, you know, it's been around forever. <laughs> Fill it in as much as you want. Laurie uh, said, I party with Bill Margera and Novak at a tattoo shop once. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Uh, a friend of mine actually is their cameraman for all the uh, jackass movies. Oh my god. Steve Kwiatkowski, they actually messed with Steve a few times. But, uh, oh yeah, the yeah. jokes was right. So, um, for, those, for those of you who don't know, uh, Miss Sonya here was in a movie with Will Smith yeah, right? a few yeah. years that ago. That was pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. And actually, if you're up north on the uh, northern east coast, I may even be on a commercial or two. Yes. You know, it's so funny. Yes. So. I've yeah. gotten cast to play in a bunch of, you know, they tend to peg me as the reporter, the nurse, veterinarian. Those are the types of, of um, things that I get called in for, like, hey, do you want to act as this, right, in a commercial or whatever. But I never get the, see, the final commercial. So I do these, do these little shoots and then, but... <laughs> All of them tend to go like up in the northeast. So let me know if you ever see a commercial, okay? That looks like possibly me. Could be. Oh, is that the medical center one for Boston? That was one of them. Boston University. Or All right, something? let me go ahead and dry this so. off real fast. Let's dry this. You want to yeah. move your foot real fast? So. Love this. So I'm thinking this is gonna be so cute. You guys know my shop that I I like to stage stuff. So maybe I'll have to stage all my chippy hippie juice on here. What would you guys use it for? Mm. The cool thing is, too, I have to tell you that when you use your milk paint line, let's say, for example, you painted a platter like this, and now you want to use it for, you know, for, uh, like, fruits and vegetables, that sort of thing, they kind of put it on, you're working with something that's all natural, right? And then if you use our wax, it's actually safe for the kitchen as well, because you never really want to put um, any sort of food-related items on painted things, right? Because you could have some issues there. So this is another reason if you want to bring some painted things around food. Sonia was a reporter in the movie Concussion. 
Yes. Got to meet Will Smith, sit next to his supper, listen to him mess up his lines. Candy, Candy says her brother knows That's so awesome. Thing. Oh, no way. That's so cool. I have to say, I really, you know, I like Will Smith anyhow. What's your favorite actor out there? I would say Will Smith is actually one of my favorites anyhow. Well, that's because you're a big Fresh Prince fan. I was a big Fresh Prince. Oh, don't start me off. Pencil on the tray. How can I keep Start me off with a Fresh Prince paint. song. How's it go? Oh my gosh. Oh, I forget. How does your Fresh Prince song go? I can't remember. Somebody help me. Give me the first three words. I'm trying to answer a serious question. I know. You just don't want me to sing. Yeah, that's yeah, part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, how, yeah. How, can, how long can we keep the already mixed paint? Leftovers. Mix it up for as you go. So if you mix some and you need some more, mix it as you go, right? Because this is all natural paint. Honestly, if you're if you absolutely have a little bit left over and you need to paint with it like tomorrow, you're gonna want to put it in the fridge, but no longer than 24 hours, okay? okay. Like immediately. Marlene Grider, uh, do we need to keep the chalk paint from freezing? Yes. Yep. If your chalk paint freezes, you're gonna have a bad time because your chalk paint's gonna be bad. You're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, bad you don't want time. your paint to freeze. The cool thing is with the milk paint, um, you know, it's in oh powder God, form. So, what is it? What is it? Let's go it up. Yeah, Born and raised on a playground is where I spend most of my days. Somebody else sing the next, next line. Lily May said she's uh, fit her DNA and she's related to Johnny Depp and Luke Bryan. No way. Anybody yeah. ever done one of those uh, ancestry DNAs? I feel like I should. I did in the Marine Corps, but that's just because they <laughs> just wanted wanted my DNA. <laughs> so now, this is a course sand pad. These, these are also on our website as well, if anybody wants the same ones that I use. But you can see how well this paint is stuck on because I just painted it and already I'm using a sand pad on it. But I like to do some more distressing. I'm probably going to have to wax this one because I really think it will be beautiful. Waxed. Gorgeous. Love it. What do you think of that color? I think I'll paint another one that color just because I'm in love with it before I switch it up. You do not want your paint to freeze. No, 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 no. You don't want any paint to freeze. I don't want to freeze. I don't want to freeze. No. Yes. All right, let's see here. Come on. I'm going to throw this over uh, here. This was called a shabby chirp brush. Yeah. Um, These are on our website as well, yeah. just about 25. Um, and I just use them over and over again. I think I should see this one. This was like the... We're not having salad tonight. We're going to paint it, honey. <laughs> so when he, when your hubby or your partner says, "What are you doing with all those dishes?" Never mind. We're not. I'm not cooking. We're having. We're not having salad. We're painting. So this was three ninety nine, and it's like the walnut. What would you call it? Walnut salad bowl, right? Yeah. Left the salad. Did got you, the bowl. Did you ever hear the the uh, crazy uh, theory of? Uh, the actual uh, story behind what Fresh Prince of Bel Air. No. That he Sounds like somebody knows. Well, you? Th they've been talking about Ready? it. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. That uh, he actually, in, in the story where the guys caused, caused him problems, that he actually was killed in a gang related incident. Dang, this sounds serious. Yeah, and that when he went to Bel Air, he actually went to heaven. What? And he had all kinds of life lessons for him. So this was like some. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is this is the big theory now that was going around by some uh, some big uh, Hollywood script huh. writers now. Yeah. Listen, let's Google it because you can find anything on Google. Yeah, Before I paint this section, I'm going to use this section to hold it so I can get the base of it done. So now, how would the Carlton fit in there? Everybody knows the Carol Carlton. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right here, like this. The Carl is that how you do it? The Carlton? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That was good, right? I used to love. Right. Yeah, I used to love um, watching Fresh Prince. Right. You have those shows, you know, that you just watched as a kid. And the thing is, like, not like today when you watch Netflix, you can get anything on de on demand, right? Which leads to me binge watching things. Mm -hmm. But remember the days when you actually had to wait like an entire week to see the next episode, and it felt like such a huge cliffhanger, and you're like, oh man, I gotta wait till next week. Now, if you're like me, you just binge watch stuff, and you, it just says, you know, of course it says. And it says, keeps keeps her husband up all hours yeah. of the night, so he can't. Is it just me, or does anybody reach the part where, like, maybe Netflix is trying to tell you to go to bed, and it it brings up this little code, and it says, or this little menu, and it says, "Are, are you, you still, still watching? watching?" Like, yeah, like yeah, like, are you judging me? I am judging. <laughs> of course, I'm still watching. Come on now, are you trying to say I should be asleep? 
So anyway, yeah, so good, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, last night I was going to do Anna Green Gables. I thank God I was asleep. You were asleep. Um, I forget what I found out. Yeah, Sonya has a problem with not sleeping and then trying to keep me up with her all night. Because it's no fun to be awake by yourself. It's no fun going to work dead tired either. I know, but we still make it. Barely. <laughs> Anybody else in the vicious cycle of staying up way too late? Listen, and I did this when I was younger, okay? I don't point fingers, but right okay. there. Okay, well, I have to tell you. I know there's somebody else out there, right who's, there who did this right growing there. up, okay? Right every there. morning, every night I would stay up. It's like a vicious cycle. Where, I, where do you I see start? What I'm doing? Okay, listen. You see what I'm doing? Listen, I'm going to tell them something. Well, I'm Because I know I'm there's somebody else out there who lived life just like this, okay? Now I just do it as an adult. <laughs> you stay up way too late, and then you would wake up in the morning getting ready for school, which your father had to, like, shake the bed to try to get you out of the bed so you, that you would actually go. But then, and you say to yourself, and you're so tired, when I come home from school today, I'm going to bed, and I'm going to stay in bed, and I'm going to bed so early tonight. And then, you know what? You come home from school, and you'd be like... Hmm, okay, what can I get into? And then you'd stay up late and you'd wake up the next morning going, I'm so going to go to bed early. I, I get it, Joanne. It is unwinding time, but six and a half hours of unwinding time till two, three in the morning. I can't help it. Yes. Don't so, judge me. Don't judge me, man. I am not. I just don't want to die of lack of sleep. <laughs> uh, Tara asks, have It's you, on the record. Now, if Matt you, dies, it's lack of sleep. Have you uh, seen Road to Avonlea? <gasps> I love Road to Avonlea. Yes, that was so good, too. Mm -hmm. One of my childhood good shows. What do you think of this bowl, by the way? Do you see how with the shabby chip brush I was able to leave a bunch of like this kind of marks behind? And I'm going to go ahead and distress it, too. But I think it's a go just right now. You want Junk Monkey paint and you need to get the kitchen cabinet video. Um, we sell the cabinet video because that is one of our main services. Yep. And it's worth every penny. It's an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Dana says wait till she hits uh, menopause. Why? What comes in? You stay awake well, all the time? Well, Dana, I hit menopause. So, you know, there we go. Alright. Funny stuff. Uh, follow the pin at the bottom, jump like the pin. I just feel like I'm uh, going to miss something if I fall asleep. Or you go to the shop now button on uh, Facebook. There's so much to do, right? It's like I feel like if you sleep, you're missing out. Yeah. So it's so hard for me to go to bed. Should have used uh, Chippy Hippy on the uh, book. Oh my god, somebody should have told me before. Why didn't you tell me before? I would have yeah. totally done that. That would have been gorgeous. I agree. Totally Sherry agree. says, I've stayed up late my whole life. I read in high school till 2 or 3 in the morning and get up to 6 or 4. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. I've got a stack of books next to my bed. Yeah. I like to read, too. Yeah. Definitely would rather hold a book than read a Kindle or anything like that. Yeah. Even though the Kindle has the backlight, I would still prefer to have a really nice Sleep light on. Sleep is boring. Sleep is boring. <laughs> Our chalk paint comes in liquid form. The milk paint's in powdered form. Because milk paint uh, will eventually spoil. If you mix it up. If yeah. you mix it up and leave it, you know. In a powder no. form, it lasts indefinitely. Yeah. Let me see. I think I got it pretty much dry. And let's do a Ooh, bunch of uh, that's, a, that's a tough one, Pam, whatever your preference is. You just never know what you're missing. Well, yeah, if, right? if I die of exhaustion, remember, I am pointing the finger right there. Oh, come on now. Seriously. All right, let me see here. Mm. Listen, you know what? I'm getting no salad now. Um, she just is doing it to hurry it up. Um, our paints dry rather quickly anyways. Second layer of paint, chippy hippy between. Uh, oh, we could do know. that. Wait, wait. Well, we're, 30, we're 40 minutes in, so it's up to We you. could do that. We'll see. Okay. Can you put chippy hippy with a different color? Absolutely. Yes, you can. In fact, let's do it with this one. But I'll make it maybe when I make my next batch of paint, okay? Yeah. Because I'm going to totally just... To carve out some of the pieces. We do, Carol. We are real sneaky. Ooh. Sneaky. What do you guys think of this one? Uh, think no this paint one? is 16. Um, <laughs> let me think here. Somebody Darn. says you need a pretty aqua color with that. Uh, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let me think. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Share this and share to your page. All right. I got, and, I you got will, and you will be eligible to receive Let's do a, blue a color. box of mystery. Box from Jump screen. Monkey Paint Company. Let's do you guys something. have a painting store in Canada. We only have one store, but we ship to Canada. We ship milk paint to Canada. As of this week, yep. we do. Yep. 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 Okay, come yep. on over here. Yep. 
And let's see here. Somebody asked me if I used whale the tail blue. Maybe I'll do kind of like a, a lighter blue. Let's see what happens, okay? This is our whale of the tail. So it is like a darker blue. I'll show you what that looks like mixed up because you guys have been asking me. Are you laughing at now? Kathy, she's like, this is my 44th video in live sharing. Share it again. That sounds to <laughs> me like she's telling me something. <laughs> All right, let's put I don't two know what here. it is. I just go by random blue. I flick through. And whenever it stops scrolling, if there's a share in that vicinity. That's how Matt lives his life, yes. at random. Yes. Randomly. All right, let's just do a little bit of blue and white. Look how pretty this color is. Look how pretty. So we got our powder and just our milk, okay? I don't think I'm going to add any bond to this because maybe we can even use this over the top of our kind of coral color, right? Coral. You know what coral. I'm saying? Yep, absolutely. All right, let's see here. All right, so this is the whale of a tail, which is, can you see that? It's a really pretty blue color. Yeah, you can see it. Love it. But I'm going to change up the color, I think. I think I should add a little bit of white and see where it goes, just for fun. Huh? Who's ready? Yeah? yeah? yeah. All right, let me get some white. Let me look at my, uh, my drip drab pieces here and see what I got. Drip drab. Drip drab. All right, let's see here. Oh, here it is. Jackie said, yes, I am. Hint gotten. Yes. All right, let's do this. Let's add a little bit of white to that. Let's see here. Add some more. He's a random to man. That. Yeah, I am. Right. I am full of randomness. Yes, he is. All right. Let's go lighter with the blue. Oh, that's pretty blue. Okay. Not really, Carol. Not really. Yeah, Linda, she got that color. Uh, well, the tail's a nice one, yeah. Uh, Pat, uh, as I said earlier, I would go and get the Jump Monkey original. Oh, you know what I should have used? We have this really pretty called color. Jeanette storm says, blue. I will uh, share all my rock store stories if you pick me. <laughs> oh, let me see here. I'm looking for. Oh, this would have been a pretty color to use. Maybe I should go keep going lighter since I'm going lighter. All right, let me see here. It does. They're sealable, they're lined. Yep, as you can well. reseal them. Yeah, you can reseal them. Yep, I'm just looking through my stash here of colors and yeah, seeing me, what I can me, add. Okay, I don't yep. think you can fit over the colors. So, they come in packs like this. That is the milk paint. Actually, that's well the tail blue. And that's a Pepsi. Anyways, <laughs> I need Pepsi to pay me now. <laughs> yes, I do like this color. So when I decided done, to add some more white to it. Gold leaf polka dots on top. Oh, that'd be oh, so pretty. Stop, stop. Everybody stop. This is pretty. Kathy says, hey, Matt, a cabinet video would be a super, super nice in the mystery box one. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get, right? You never know. All right. So we're going to cheer in the butter a little bit more here. Uh, milk paint is all natural, um, oh, safe, uh, Pet safe, baby safe, mono safe, you name mono it. safe, allergy safe, yes. all natural. If you're sensitive, you're going to love this If you're sensitive, paint. you want right. milk paint, or you're just into that all natural type of living. Let's grab a, another chip brush. And this color I'm going to go with, it's not aqua, but it's a really pretty blue. I really like that. I think it'll go well. It's a periwinkle. So, yeah, right? So again, this was whale of a tail blue with, um, I think it'll go nice. Do you see how that pairs up really pretty? Okay, so you ready? Kate. I got something for you. Sick them. I got something for you. You ready? What? Okay. I got something. Uh, I got a gift for Matt when I was on my jungle oh travels my today. And um, so I know he loves it. When I particularly find this style. Okay. Because he loves it. You ready? You ready? You ready? Look what I found. Oh, kill it with fire. Just when you thought I couldn't find another one for five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Oh, I'm so happy cents. when that thing left. I know. This is the third one. They kill just keep coming fire. back. They got people. Yes, I love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, so anyway, you know what? It's gonna brownie, frowny frame. Uh, We're just gonna paint it up. This is the perfect project. Oh my god. I'm telling you. So listen, does somebody the chippy, out there likes likes the big eyed. Does people. the chippy hippie work with chalk paint? Chippy hippie work with never tried it before. We made it to go with a, in the line of the natural milk paint. So we'll have to do a test. But right now we're working with the milk paint. We'll try it over here, maybe over the next week or so. I I'm said gosh, that. Yvette. Yes, I did, and it's very uh um that that's like very, very tame for me. Because you said gosh? <laughs> yes. 
Oh my god, Josh. All right, here we go. You Just ready? Get that thing out of here. It's nice. So, uh, you you haven't heard like you the ready? stories about the black eyed kids yet, have you? Oh, this is so nice. I <laughs> love it. Thank you, thank you. Anybody see the documentary that was on Netflix? I watched that one late one night too. With the um about the Moppets. Yeah, it was so good. No, that's what they're called. Moppets. Yeah, they're called Moppets. Yeah, I forget her name. Lori says Target Price. Margaret Keen. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some big-eyed people, kids. Everybody's going, I had that picture. My grandma had yeah, that picture. Yeah, right? Yeah. So I love buying them just so I can put them in my shop. So as you can tell, I'm kind of a whimsical kind of lover. You know what I mean? You know, this you isn't whimsical. Like. This is just Big eyes creepy. are pretty whimsical, okay? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Jeanette Patton says, say H-O-U-S-E -E for me. I'm not a trained dog. Okay, house. Mouse in the house. Mouse in the house. <laughs> Did you say you were, you get your headbands, they look like natural uh, life bofo? Never heard of that brand, but they're not all the same brand names, mm -hmm. and so they're all over. The, I guess the thing that I, that, that I have in common when I wear them is they're not the athletic ones. Um, they're the ones that are called the head wrap, okay? Everybody's saying it's called First Kiss. Oh, I remember that. Looks Is like that really? Kids from the book Flowers in the Attic. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Margaret Keene is the. Yes. Uh, that was a good documentary. Did anybody say they saw that too? Uh, it's on Netflix. Yeah. I might, it might still I be. I love on that. Netflix. Very whimsical, Matt. No. Yes. No, kill yes. it with fire. Listen, remember when the Blair uh, Witch wreath he said would never sell? Oh, oh yeah. Somebody bought it. Oh, Somebody yeah. right now is sporting that right now on their that, wall. Oh. And uh, I. It was oh. nice because I could prove Matt wrong. Somebody oh. will appreciate this, right? Yeah, with the whole thing in the southwest desert of black-eyed kids going around, I don't want anything like that in the house. Near the house. About? And... I'm going to put this over our bed, babe. Yeah. It'll be gorgeous. Yeah, and it's going to be gorgeous. Accidentally Look. on purpose made a uh, terrible ending. Look, it's so no. nice. No. Look at that. No, I'm going to no, do the no, side. No, no. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, you can live with this. So, anybody was asking the difference between chalk and milk paint, Kate just posted above with the Chunk Monkey Paint Company explaining the difference. Uh, April says, Matt Chill, they have or used to have a thing like Tupperware design thing party. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember that. You mean, <laughs> you mean with this sign? Yeah. yeah. Well, they had, about? yeah, they had like different themes, right? Yeah. So, L'Oreal said that is a birth control picture. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> well, who wants to buy it? <laughs> who wants to buy it? Who needs it for somebody in their family? You need family? to make more Blair Witch Reef. Yeah, right? No, yeah, no, I agree. No, I agree. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and dry this off. So, again, I just use my shabby chip brush. They're on our website if you want to use the same ones I do. Um, but I love them because I didn't even have to do any distressing. But do you see how nice it gets, leaves that like trail behind it? Because it just kind of leaves the peaks and valleys. And you get such a pretty look. So, <laughs> yes. Yes. We are in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Yes. About 35 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Oh, see, somebody wants to come and buy it. Somebody wants to come and buy it. Do you see? I whipped out this photo, and now somebody wants to come and visit us. I mean, I just can't help but believe the two are connected. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, all right? Uh, so. Marilyn, you need to know that uh, pity and sympathy is something I do not feel. So you cannot, uh, you cannot appeal to you making me feel bad. So, uh, <laughs> uh, too funny. Come you on. Know what we'd love look, share it and scare some you know what would right look now. really good on this other than, than salmon? Yeah, don't don't share this right now because you know what will happen? My foot, Everybody will my, show up and be like, that is the most ugliest thing my foot, I ever right saw. About here. <laughs> I can't believe that she is painting that hideous photo. Who buys something like that and brings it home? So yeah. Mm. Yeah, feel free. Let's have some fun. Of, reminds me feel of children of the corn. Yes. Children of the corn. Yes, thank you, Bianca. Yes. Oh my. Marilyn says, no pity you laugh at I just know I never win anything. Bad, bad, bad. She's doubling down. Yeah. She's going all in. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you're having a bad day today, Donna. Aw. 
So remember, a, you can have a bad day. It does not mean a bad life, right? Yeah. So hopefully tomorrow is better for you, girl. But if this painting stays in my life much longer, it's going to be real bad. Oh, so bad. All right, so I really like that. Look at that. We made that custom color with whale tail blue and with white to get it all right. So I'm going to lay that here as it finishes out drying. So Matt can just kind of look at it right there. <sighs> so that way it's, it's just looking at Matt right there. It's really, really nice. Hey, come on now. You know me, come I on trip now. over those stuff. Those are somebody's children. Come you know on. me, I trip over stuff. Not you. The if those are somebody's children, they better call an exorcist. Listen, come on now. All right. So here's the last thing I got. Um, and it is something else. I thought, man, I can make use of this for my shop, mm. throw my stuff into it, my supplies. Um, as you guys come and shop, uh, it was three ninety nine. Really. But remember, if you find one of these, just clean it and go ahead and do what you want with it, right? You are a turn 50 it into minutes. a centerpiece. Right, yeah. Fifty minutes. Okay. Uh, could be for Scott and Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at this. Ready. <laughs> All right. Now I did not put any bond in this, but I'm just going to go with the blue because I have it. Oh, you love it, Daddy. So we'll see what happens. But if this this is porous enough, I won't have any problems. The reason why you want to use the bond is because you have a super shiny surface, right? And you want it to get it to stick on, and you don't want any of it to fall off. That's why you would use it. Oh, look how pretty it tones it down. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that? Come on now. I'm bringing that home. Put that front and center right over to the fireplace. <laughs> Kalea said that's going to be in the box of mystery tonight. <laughs> yeah, it might be. That's a great idea. If Matt has his way, yeah, right? So if somebody gets the big-eyed children, what would you do if you get the big-eyed children what Matt calls the scary picture. I mean, what would you do with it? Would you be like, Sonia, thank you so much. Or would you be like, dang it, girl. I had to burn it in the fire in the backyard. I yep, mean, I will do that. Yep. <laughs> so, anyways. Oh, look how nice that is. The story behind Big Eyed Children was they were orphans. I would say, yeah, I, I, they would be, yeah, I'd make them orphans too. Uh, but I'm joking. I, I, I get the whole, I get the whole thing, right? Yes. Um, Matt's managed to keep a child alive now for, what, 17, 17 years? years? So, yes. Yep. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between your chippy brush and another brush? So, this one is, um, it's a harder bristle, okay? So, the other brush is a high-end furniture paint brush. It holds the paint nicely. It, um, it's made to last a long time. It's considered a wet brush. And it's, something, it's one of those brushes that you invest in and that you have for a very, very long time. The shabby chip brush is just that it's a buck 25 and you can use it over and over again as long as you're using of course your you know your water-based paints which all of our products are um but i love it because it doesn't have a smooth finish it gives me that really old wretched as i like to call it that's not um, a good term down here well you know what it is what it is so just Mark embrace it okay hanging over her bed with a wreath <laughs> Katie said she'd hang it in her family room. Oh my God. My I God. love it. No, listen, can you imagine that I'd on a gallery wall? It'd be so cute. You just said I'd have to mail it to one of my enemies. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Your friends with Jesus, you know the what people, happens. The people were saying, I remember the Blair Witch he had. Yes, right. On Home Talk, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then of course he says it on Home Talk, like my God, that's hideous. Home talk, okay? Where the, the meanest people live on the face of the planet, I'm okay? I'm sorry, I'm just You guys true. know, right? Like, there are some big meanies, okay? Yeah, Out of curiosity, who found us uh, through home talk? Because not all meanies, thank goodness the good ones, migrate, found us. migrated over here, right? Yeah. But, yeah, seriously, there's some big meanies over there. Big, big meanies. But then again, who, who you know... You know, not everybody can appreciate doing arts and crafts with Q-tips and things like that, right? Yeah, but that was so. great. I got to do the whole Jaws <laughs> theme with that thing. You did like that. Yeah, that yes. was pretty cool, right? Yeah, I got to play. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, but he called me out right in front. You know, like, who who needs an enemy when you have your husband? Well, after some, after a couple of decades, you know, if you can't, your husband can't be honest with you, who can? Yes, I guess. Yes. I guess. We got a wrap. What's that? Yep. Cool. We're just going to finish up here now. We're good. How much battery do we have? Let's make sure. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll go fast. <laughs>
But look how nice that was, right? So it didn't fall off. It accepted it really, really nice. And I made this custom color. How pretty is that? Katie says, I love it. Katie says you need to put it on my side of the bed so I like that it sees very nice. Yeah. Katie, I like don't how she thinks. I like tempt how she me. thinks. I will t burn my own house down. Oh my god. All right. Whatever happened with HGTV, still in the burner. Yeah. Things like that take time. So, so we, we got, just continue on. Yeah, we got contacted about uh, being in another show on yeah. HGTV too. Well, see what happens, guys. Yeah. They pitch yeah. they pitch ideas all the time, but at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. you just kind of have to sit and wait. Nothing really moves and shakes quickly when yeah. you when you kind of do those things. So yeah. we're definitely learning. And there's that a lot of different factors that going into working with a television so, network that yeah. we're learning that so we just be at us you got to right? make sure that and we'll see what happens it's the right fit okay so this is the blue what do you think so somebody said about using the chippy hippie juice on like something like this right over another color we can totally do that i think we should do this all over with chippy hippie see what happens and do something fun because the blues will go really really pretty with it right that's gonna be stuff. pretty with easter eggs yeah yes, i don't care i don't care what you do yeah but you gotta fly bullseye fly like the wind okay all right all right let me go ahead and grab my um we're coming over here to uh, what? the uh, workspace. Okay, let me grab something over there real fast. Hey, Tony, what's going on? Totally. Hey, Matt, what's check your three? email. Okay. Now I am scared. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's trying to tell you get I have your shoe. I just want you to know, Matt, no matter what it is, Joanna, I have plausible deniability of everything. Okay, I'm going to use a just a an end of one of my old cloths I have here. Do you still have the so, coaching class? Yes. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yep. And it's currently open right now, so if you want to jump in, jump in. So every Monday we do coaching on a different uh, business topic if you want to take it from hobby to business. Mm -hmm. Every Friday you get a paint tutorial from mm -hmm. me and behind the scenes access to me, right, if you need any help with growing your business or just learning different paint techniques. The surprise right. guests were the two freaking demon children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is our chippy hippie juice. We are going to go ahead. This is our very own product that uh, is designed to work with our milk paint with junk monkey milk paint i'm gonna go all in tonight just because you know it's a big old surface this will be a really good piece to show people how chippy hippie works and how you can layer it so let's do it all right vicky says how are you gonna stay hidden on hgtv well you need camera people huh yeah and luckily <laughs> enough for me you, not just yeah. iphone cameras i can operate big cameras oh there's too. bound to be a mirror somewhere i'm sure i'm like a vampire I cast no reflection. Listen, if you're lucky enough when Matt messes up, you'll see him on camera. All right? But you just got to stay tuned and watch for when it happens. All right, let's do it. Go ahead. So I put the Chippy Hippie juice all over it, all right? Now I'm going to go ahead and take that same blue that I mixed up and go ahead and put it right over it and see Tess what happens. says, if you pick my name, uh -huh. can I win that picture? <laughs> Tess wants the picture. I, I, she will go down in history. Able, yeah, I might be able to arrange that. Now this, of course, I don't know if you can see it or not, because this is a light color over a light color. If this color was darker, you would really be able to see it. But it is, can you see what it's doing right here? So if you can imagine, if you put a dark color over with a light, you get the most awesome effects that happen with it. Can you see it right here? Go ahead and slide this over. Tony wants to know, aren't you guys exhausted? You have no idea, Tony. I actually died six months ago. I just don't know it yet. Okay, all right. I just keep propping them up with the uh, camera. Roxanne says her daughter is repeating the chippy hippie juice. Chippy hippie, heck yeah. Uh, we haven't tried it with the chalk paint yet, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, the only thing is, I, well, I've got to test it, right? I don't want anybody to yeah. get it thinking that it will work, woo, um, for sure, without me testing it. Um, only because the chalk paint is made to really like form a tight bond the chalky style paint, and this is more of a light unpredictable, so when it hits the chippy hippy juice, what happens is it, it does the most amazing things. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, that's kind of the goal, here. isn't it, Tony? What's that? Staying above ground for as Staying long as Staying above possible. ground, absolutely. So, yeah. All right, do your last share. Yeah, Sing everybody, your do your, uh, everybody do your last share. Yep. Oh. I am going to sell, Linda 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 says she's going to sell 8 by 10 pictures of me. Yeah. Makes well, that's money. okay, Linda, that's because be retirement. I get 65% of all that, and you have to sign a licensing agreement with me. <laughs> see, you're funny. All right, let's go ahead. Can you guys see that up close? Do you see what's happening? So, like I say, if this was a navy on a coral, you would really see it, right? I'm just going to use the two colors for that. Yep. Can you see that? So pretty. So, think about all the colors that you can do. 
But if you want your paint to have that look, like it's chippy, mm -hmm. it's falling off, because there is no way that you could take a sand block and get all that crackle and just get all the, the way the, the paint is all gone like that, and it's really cool. It's actually not a crackle medium, though. It's completely different in how it works, but it's pretty darn cool, right? There you go. It actually makes it look like, you know, the weathered paint yeah, that you'd see. Tracy says it looks soft wrestling. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's, a, that's a good, that's a good, good job. It's just called Chippy Hippie, right? Because you just never know what it's going to do. But it makes it look like, you know, when you see the old uh, windows that come out and it's all chipped off and, like, you know, you're, you're missing the pieces of the paint from Grandma's old windows that came out of her house. So you can play with it and put your colors together with it. Without the lead poisoning. Yeah, <laughs> right? Without having to touch it and then what he said. All right, let's see it here. So there we go. Now it's pretty much dry. We get a few places, but that's how it sets up. So take a look right here, Matt. You want to come in close? So uh, we need to do a uh, chalk uh, uh, Yeah, we do. We will chalk We will do a chalk uh, style yeah. with the chippy hippie. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll see. But it really depends on what I end up working with. Um, so somebody, a lot of you guys will message and say, will this stay like this after it happens? After you've done that effect. Yes, it does, right? This is dry. Ooh, that's hot. So this is dry, and this is how it's staying now. And, and then I would seal it, it in, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm More probably going to... Yeah, I'm going to do some yeah. waxing real fast here, just because I think that would, you know, really show yeah. the coolness of it. And then if you want, you know, you can just dress it some more. Bring some more of the brown through, which I do like that. Try to bring it down a little bit. Bring it around town. Try to get down through some of the paint levels here. You're down through the paint levels. I know. I want it that way. All right, just to kind of give it some more, make it more interesting, crazy. right? Who me? Yeah. Just because I've been hanging out with you. All right. Whew. All right. Cool. 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 So I like that. Now let me go ahead and wax it a little bit and see. So we've been working with our new Monkey Shine wax, which is awesome. One of the things I'm really excited about is not only is it 100% natural. But, you know, I especially know this from my coaching club. The girls in there will say, dang it, Sonia, I just cannot get the poly uh, brush marks to come out of my pieces, right? Like when I'm painting furniture. Wax is, a, is an amazing thing. So it doesn't leave you with any wax, any um, brush marks. So I've been using my can of Monkey Shine for what? This is day 14? Mm -hmm. For 14 projects, well, minus one, we did a poly. Um, so, but I used it before I even started this and I'm still going off the same tin, okay? So it goes a long ways. And what you do is use your brush, your wax buff brush. I have these on our website as well. And then what you're gonna do is basically just go ahead and buff it in just like that. Jimmy Buffett. Really? Jimmy Buffett. Yep, really? Jimmy Buffett's like, I don't care. All right, just buff it around in circles, get it into the wood pores. It'll like make those pieces anywhere you have like the actual wood coming through, it'll really shine it off and make it look good. The, and then you're gonna wanna actually sand, buff it with a The cloth. sand pad is medium grit. Yep. Absolutely. And they're on my website if you wanna grab them that way. Mm. All right, there you go. Uh, would you pass me, can you reach one of those cloths? Never mind, you can't, I'll get it. I will get it, all right. Let me get my There's wax There's a whole bunch cloth. over there. Yeah, but I need a nice clean one. Oh. Using those for a while. Do you have all products in your store? Yes. yes but if do. you're coming to visit us, call ahead to make sure that we're not sold out of a certain color. Yes. If you're looking for a certain color. Because we do everything. This is a tray. A um, what? This is a tray. Yep. So now what happens is after you paint, then you buff, right? So a lot of times people make the mistake of they wax something and then they leave it on the top. This is the part that you polish it. It actually pushes it down into the wood pores and you get a beautiful, like silky smooth finish on it. It's absolutely awesome. Protects your piece as well. And then I like to leave it like, you know, 24 hours before I actually make use of it. But there we go, it's done. Ooh, did I just put something off my hands on here? Holy moly, I think I did. No worries, there we go, it's done, take two. All right, so as we wrap up, I am going to go ahead and this could be cool too, guys. I would even use this as a sign. <laughs> I'm thinking tomorrow night we'll make some signs together, but we'll see. All right, so. I guess I need to pick a winner. Huh? Yeah, pick a winner. Um, you must be president and answer to win. Yep. And guys, tell us if you see somebody answer, because I know that Facebook can be weird yeah. sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. And you gotta email us immediately after. 
Let me go. Let me go. Wait, wait, wait. Who is Matt? Who is Matt? Really? I don't know. I don't know. He's some strange guy that just keeps know. showing up. Matt, man. You can't trust those people. Yes. At all. The buff cloth claws are on there as well. These are a um, trademark um, cloth called Better Than Cheese Cloth. They're perfect and made just for um, furniture painters um, to be able to use it. So just to let you know, if you're going to do the wax thing, definitely pick yourself up a couple of those cloths. They're only a buck twenty-five. Maggie Booker. Maggie, Maggie Booker. So Maggie's here. You have one minute to answer. Yeah. The wax does seal. Yep. Yes, you do. Wax is a sealer. Maggie Booker. The bowl is wood. Yep. It was walnut. We're going to make Matt suffer in it this morning. She tells us the baby's waking up. Hey, do me a countdown on that, please. All right. So. Love, love, love that, right? What? Matt Lauer got canned and moved to Ligonier. I'm not Matt Lauer. <laughs> I'm weird. I'm not pervy. You're funny. <laughs> You're funny. This would be so cool, like to have a little bit of color, you know, on your mantle. Even if you paint bowls like this, have you ever seen that that decor where you you know, put something like this into like a frame holder? You put your greenery with it, and then you've got like some farmhouse style looking stuff. You can fill it fill it with whatever you want. So for me, I'm just gonna fill it with like stuff that As I have around the shop. She's here. Do you got She's her? She's here. Yeah. Okay. Yay! All right, Maggie. Um, right there. Um, email us at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail dot com. You got it, girl. Yep. So immediately after this, please. Thank you. You got it, girl. There you go. All right, All right. perfect. I got a lag on my thing here. You got a lag. Yeah. You jet lag. Oh, thank you, Debbie. We appreciate it. So yeah. And so I'm Matt. Much. <laughs> Fun. I, I'm, cool. I'm mad. <laughs> we'll probably fit over here. This is cute. Guys, when you do your decor around your house, it's always fun to layer. Like, you know what I mean? If you find those old pieces like that, you can put flowers into them and just use them as pieces like that. And if you ever feel like you need to pop them up <laughs> higher, do something like put a sand pad in, make them higher. Oh, Joanna, I will stuff. check it to see if you have your email. I will look in there. So, Anyways. are you messing with her? She's messing with me. <laughs> I'm messing funny. back. Not like anybody would ever mess with you or you would mess with them, right? I've never messed with anybody. I know. I know. You would never do that. Oh, this is pretty together right here, too. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Did you have fun tonight? Give you some ideas for decor that you generally pass on in your life. Maybe, like, you pass it on to the Goodwill. So, you pass it on to the Goodwill, and then I'm behind you, picking them all back up to make some awesome things. So can't wait to put a candle on this one. <laughs> they all came out great, right? Send me some hearts if you love yeah, it. Yeah, come, come this Saturday if you're in the area and buy the freaky devil <laughs> children. The freaky stuff. Yes. All right, we're going to log off, leave you to enjoy your evening. We'll be back tomorrow for what, day 15? I think it's day 15. That's crazy. Yes, chalk paint works on any surface. This is our first night of working with milk paint on this surface and with yep. extra bond. It, it, it it's sticks. like, yep, yep it's so good, absolutely. Go. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All That's right, good. so we're going to log off. Thank you for joining us. As always, we love chatting with you guys. Tonight was especially fun hearing all the cool things that you guys have done, conquered, seen, visited, experienced in your lifetime. We'll see what we chat about tomorrow night. And Matt's right. gone, and it's time to put him yeah, to bed. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. Me, you, and the children. I'll see you guys. All right, see ya. Bye. All right, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>